14 states covered already. 1,500 plus miles to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Flying Scotsman. One leg of the tour complete. Scotsman. Earth calling Scotsman. One leg of the tour to go. All around the west coast. And Come in, Flying Scotsman! What? Oh, sorry, Gordon. I was just thinking of the tour my own is taking me on soon. A tour? Where's your owner taking you? He's going to take me around the United States of America. My train's going to be a trade show for many big businesses on the mainland. And we'll be dropping off two Pullman coaches at the National Railroad Museum. Rails and roads don't mix, Scotsman. You should know that by now. That's just what they call railways over there. I see. Well, promise me that when you return, one of the first things you do is come and see me again. Don't worry, Gordon. I definitely will. Right, Flying Scotsman. To run in the States, you'll need some minor modifications, as their regulations are very different from here. Modifications, eh? Okay. How bad could it be? What am I seeing on myself? Sorry, Scotsman. These are required features for all American steam engines. Well, you know who's to blame if anyone laughs at me. You will get used to them. As if that will happen. That is one mighty vessel. Behold, Scotsman. The RMS Saxonia of 1954. She's going to take you and your tenders to America. What about the coaches? They're going on two separate ships. Awfully high now. Off on my voyage. Can't wait. Flying Scotsman's on his way to tour the USA On the RMS Samsonia now leaving the UK With his owner Alan Pegler by his side They'll be touring all the states far and wide as he left Questions from many arose Why is he gone? Will he return? Nobody knows. Goodness gracious. Here we are, Scotsman. Boston Harbour. One of the largest ports in the USA. I already feel like we're not in the UK anymore. I still can't believe this is actually happening. Alright, Scotsman. They're allowing us to start early. What? We're beginning the whole thing now? Of course not. We're just going up to New London and back. It's so we can stretch our wheels and get used to the American soils. Oh, I see. Then what are we waiting for? Flying Scotsman coming through! Ow! What's wrong? Something's hitting my butt. Ouch! Oh dear. I can see the problem from here. Hey! Big green apple! Try to avoid this! Catch! Why the little rascals? Don't worry, fine Scott. I've got an idea to get back at them. So what's the plan? Search me. The fireman mentioned something about my coal. There they are. Ready? Yep, got some mighty big ones here. I hope the fireman's plan works. Whatever it is. Now. Run for it! Retreat! Serves them right! 
<laughs> Hopefully that'll teach them a thing or two. Mission accomplished. Brilliant idea. They won't show up again, I can tell you. In just the first day. I've already got something to tell Gordon when I see him again. Speaking of which, I wonder how he's doing right now. He's only been gone for a few days, Thomas, and I already miss him. At least you still have a sibling, Gordon. Mine have all met the Cutter's Torch years ago. You should consider yourself lucky to still have a family member. All that could change, you know. I just hope that won't be the case. I wonder where he is now. It is my honour to present the world's most famous steam locomotive to the United States of America. This is an absolute first for me. It certainly is for Scotsman here. We're both looking forward to seeing where this tour takes us. And what we'll see on the way. So without further ado, let the tour commence! That's a modern machine if I ever saw one. Alright Flying Scotsman, we're going to have to wait a while until a locomotive can haul us into the city. Why? What's wrong with going there under my own power? I'm afraid it's down to regulations. The only access is underground, so we need to wait a little while for a locomotive. Looks like you need a doll. I got that covered. Thank you very much. You'll be doing all of us a favor. No problem. Have it help. My name's Nick, by the way. My. This is an incredible structure. I've been over this bridge plenty of times. It's called Hellgate Bridge. I beg your pardon. Don't be alarmed. It's not that kind of hell. Thank goodness. Anyway, are we nearing the tunnel yet? Almost there. Brilliant. Make sure you get this, Alan. Ah, uh, sorry, Scotsman. I think we've run out of film. What? You can't have blown all the film on the journey here. Great, we did, Scotsman. Okay, Blind Scotsman, welcome to Newark Penn Station. This place reminds me of Newcastle. What? There isn't even a station in Newcastle, Delaware. No, I'm talking about Newcastle back home. Also, I was just thinking of an extremely modern looking train we saw earlier on the way here. It was all shiny with blue and red stripes. I think you saw a UAC turbo train. This is a way for the future. Loads of inner city networks have them. Interesting. All we have on our inner city network back home is a bunch of diesels like Hymex, Deltix, all sorts. Well, anyway, Scotsman, I have to haul my own train now. See ya. Bye, Nick. Thanks for the tow. Right, Scotsman. 
we'll have a few days here, and then we'll be off to Philadelphia, and then Washington. Got it, Alan. I can't wait to see what else this tour has in store for us. Hi there! You must be flying Scotsman! You're correct. That's me. I'm Jacob. I'll still have to wait for you, so you can follow behind me. What for? We're taking part in the Steamorama event. We cannot wait, Jacob. We'll stick behind you all the way. Okay, just hold on. Before we go, may I ask, what is the Steamorama? Sorry, Scotsman. Can't talk right now. Gotta take my excursion train before we can set off. See you at Steamorama! Steamorama is a big event where people can come to see a lineup of engines, including you and Jacob. People will likely be showing up just to see you, Flying Scotsman. Flying Scotsman is on his way to a massive steam event. The glory days of British steam is what he'll represent. Traversing Georgia's country hills, giving pleasure and mighty thrills, not far to go. When questions from many arose, will he get there? Will he break down? Nobody knows. What's going on, Alan? Why are we stopping? Jacob's running short of steam ahead, so we'll have to wait a while until they fix the problem. Come on! Get some water to fill me up! We gotta get to Steamorama! And Flying Scotsman's right behind us! We can't be late, because if we're late, Scotsman will be late too! Keep calm, Jacob! We're almost there, and we're just gonna fill you up now. Well, Scotsman, what do you think? It's remarkable! I've never seen so many people turn up just to see the two of us. Hey, don't forget about Chet over there! Ah. Uh, it's just fascinating to see all these people here. Gordon would love to see this. Who's Gordon? He's my brother. I can't wait to tell him about this. I just heard that Scotsman's been to this event called Steamorama. Honestly, an engine with actual history, like myself, should be attending an event like that. Scotsman's had a lot of history, you know. Duck told me that he's the second to go 100 miles per hour. Quite right, Thomas. I just hope he had fun at Steamorama. Well, that was fun. I did enjoy that. Where are we off to next? We're now going to continue towards Houston, the final destination of this year's tour! Well, we made it! We've managed to complete the first tour! Excellent! So no more travelling until next year, I suppose. That's right, and lucky for us, the Santa Fe is offering the Slayton Roundhouse to store you until next year. That's kind of them. We'll stay here for another few days, and then we'll take you to Slayton. Have you noticed anything, Scotsman? Not really. This is the first time you fit on a turntable with your two tenders. Wow! I never actually noticed that! Well, now you do! We did brilliantly, don't you think? We definitely did. Although we still have a lot to get through next year. Is that when we're dropping off the two Pullman coaches? That's right! And who knows? Maybe you might meet an old friend there. Don't really know about that. But I guess I'll have to wait and see. 
Okay then, Scotsman. See you in 1970. Bye, Alan. Can't wait for the next tour. I bet we'll make it as great as the previous one. Flying Scotsman! Hello again! Ah, oh, Alan! Ready to start the next tour? Bad news, I'm afraid. The tour schedule may have to be changed up a bit. What? What does this mean? We're going to have to skip the west coast and head straight for Green Bay. How come? We have no financial backing from the government back home due to Prime Minister changes. Oh, not again! This means I'll have to fund the tour myself. So we're going to carry on with the tour. Sounds good. But I don't think I'll be able to bring you home. What? But... But... The... I might be able to. I might not be able to. We'll just have to wait and see. Well then, let's go. What are we waiting for? What was that? That's torn it. You'll have to be repaired before we can continue. I do feel rather strange after that repair. You'll get used to it. Like how you've gotten used to your cow catcher. What? This thing? I still haven't gotten used to it. What are you talking about? Honestly, Scotsman. Come on, we'd better be on our way. A steamer? You've gotta be kidding me. Honestly, Alan, why did you stop me here? Some engines around here aren't very friendly. We aren't going to be here much longer. Just ignore them until we go. Here we are, Scotsman. The National Railroad Museum. Looks like an abandoned maintenance depot to me. I know a museum when I see one. You'll be on display here for a month. At least that will give me another chance to rest my wheels. Just bring him into this siding! At least I get a chance to rest for a month until we have to go again. Right, Scotsman. After this month, we'll be continuing without the Pullmans. I have to go now for a while, okay? Okay. Will you be back soon? Of course I will. Okay. See you soon, then. Okay. Just up in there. Ah, oh, that feels better. Scotsman? Dwight? It's, it's you! you! Amazing to see you again! Dwight! It's been years! Where have you been? I've been in this siding. It's quite a nice change from zipping up and down the East Coast Main Line all day. Do you ever get a chance to stretch your wheels anymore? No. All I've been doing is sitting in this siding, with all the visitors just coming and pressing their noses up against my buffers, and getting their greasy fingers on my paintwork. So you've been here this whole time? I've been here since 63! They only wanted me here because I was used by that general during World War II. So that's why you got your new name? Exactly. I still miss being called Golden Shuttle, though. What did that name actually mean? You aren't made of gold. Or a space shuttle. You're hilarious, Scotsman. I know. Anyway. Will you ever come back to the UK someday? Well, I think I might go back to celebrate the speed record of... Dare I say his name? Mallard. 
do you think it'll be for the 75th? Possibly. Well, I guess we'll both see each other there then. When Deltics fly. <laughs> <laughs> You do look glum. I haven't slept for ages, thanks to them over there. I've been talking for ages. You remember the time Silver Fox went so fast he damaged his middle big end? <laughs> <laughs> well, what about the time Seagull's crew faked him being hijacked by two girls? He was absolutely horrified when those girls said he was being driven by them. Served him right for all those times he kept saying we'd see his face in the newspaper someday. We did. In the LNR's most wanted. <laughs> 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 you two sound like you're having fun. We are. I didn't know Dwight was here this whole time. Was he the old friend you were talking about earlier? Exactly. Well, it was a brilliant surprise. It's great to be talking with Dwight again. It's great to be talking with anyone again. <laughs> if only Gordon could see you with me. I can't wait to tell him about seeing you again. The Fat Controller's just told me that Flying Scotsman's in Green Bay right now. And he said that Green Bay is his final destination, which means he'll be home soon. But what if something happens to him on the way home? Shut up! Don't get me all worried when I know my brother's coming home soon. That may not be the case. What if he still hasn't completed his tour properly? Okay, Scotsman. We better hit the rails. Thanks for the Pullman coaches. No problem. They were used by the person who shares your name after all. Well, Flying Scotsman, I guess this is where we say goodbye. I'm afraid it is, Dwight. But don't worry, I'll tell everyone you're here. Okay, Scotsman, we're off to Canada now. We'll be going to places like Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal. Looking forward to that. Shame Dwight can't come with us. So is there any specific reason why we came here? Yes, you're going to be part of the Canadian National Exhibition. So this is going to be like the Steamarama again. A bit. But I'm going to be giving all the visitors cab rides while we're at this exhibition. Could somebody please calm that child in my cab down? Relax, Flying Scotsman. He's just excited. He's never seen an engine like you before. And that's pretty much the case with everyone else in America when they see me! After we've finished here, Scotsman, we'll head to Hamilton and back to Toronto so you can be stored for the winter. Sounds good. So what's going to happen here then? We're going to put you into that siding so you can be part of a large photo shoot. Didn't I see you in Toronto? Yes, you did! Wait, what was your name again? My name's Flying Scotsman. Oh, I remember now. Flying Scotsman, huh? Sounds like a movie title to me. Movie title, eh? I like the sound of a movie about me. Who knows? They may make one about my adventures here in the States. Well, Scotsman, we've managed to achieve the main steps of this year's tour. Yep, we've travelled to all sorts of places, I reunited with Dwight D. Eisenhower, and was put through all sorts of things here in Canada. It's been fun. Gonna agree more. Although we didn't make the returns I'd hoped for. Well, that's a shame. I suppose there's not much to achieve now. Can we go home? If there's no way of finding financial success, 
then we will go home. He'll be here for the winter, okay? Stop. See you soon, Alan. I really think Alan should have turned up by now. Well, we didn't make it to the west coast. But we did excellent for what we did achieve. Shame we can't make it to San Francisco. I've been hearing lots about that city, even before British Week was announced. British Week? It's a city-wide celebration with everything to do with British. Loads of tourists will be there, I'm sure. That's it! We could take Flying Scotsman to San Francisco for British Week! Sounds risky, but worth a try. Alan, there you are! Where have you been? Planning the biggest journey of the tour. We're off to San Francisco. What? Isn't that on the other side of the... I'll tell you about the idea when we get to Buffalo. So the plan is to get to San Francisco in time for a big Britain celebration. We'll be lucky to make it in time. Don't worry, Scotsman, we're not stopping anywhere. We're just heading straight for San Francisco. Have you worked out the way? I have. So what are we waiting for? Let's get moving to San Francisco. To San Francisco! Flying Scotsman's on his way to the west coast of the USA On a mission to get the money there and make it back to the UK Charging down the single track of the north passing cars themselves Going back and forth braving rains and fears of winds as he goes Will he get there? Will he succeed? Nobody knows. Well, we made it to Oakland, and we can't go all the way around the bay to get to San Francisco. It'll take us too long. How about we go on that car ferry over there? Great idea, Scotsman. We better hurry. Hello, San Francisco! I hope we're not too late for British Week. They're actually just in time. British week begins tomorrow. What did I tell you? I knew we'd make it. We're going to make up our money here and be home really soon. I can't wait to finally get back in the UK. One of the first things I want to do is go to Sodor and see Gordon again. Well, Scotsman. We're doing very well here. I know. Except you should do something about the swarm of tourists leaning on my buffers for photos. Well, at least we're making a good profit here. Excuse me. Are you the owner of the steam locomotive? Yes, I am. Okay. Because we were wondering if you could move this engine. Why do you want me to be moved? The tourists love me! I know, but you're blocking our sea view and covering up loads of parking spots. I see. We'll move him. I don't know how we'll maintain a profit now. Don't worry, Scotsman. I'll make up the money by next year. I promise. Alan, you're back. Hello, Scotsman. I haven't made up all the money yet, but I have an idea. This is a great idea. I know. That money is as good as... Oh, not again! It's fine. We'll get you back on track and get you on your way again. Nothing could stop us from reaching the money. You okay, Alan? 
have just been declared bankrupt by the High Court. So does that mean we can't get home? Well, I've managed to strike a deal. For what? You're going to be in storage in Lathrop until I can make money to get you home. Why Lathrop? Why can't I stay here? It's so I can hide you from anyone who wants to buy you from me. I see. At least it'll keep me safe. How bad could it be? In terms of maintaining image, this is not the way to do it. I just hope Alan's okay and making up the money. Hey, steam engine. Yes? Bad news, I'm afraid. You've been liquidated from your owner. What does that mean? Your owner has lost you. You are no longer in possession of him. What? Alan doesn't own me anymore? How am I going to get home? The answer is clear. You won't. I won't get back to the UK? But everyone's expecting me back! My friends! My enthusiasts! My only surviving LDR are relatives! Gordon. I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, sir. Not to sound boastful or anything, but my branch line is the pride of the whole North Western Railway. Is it really? It certainly is. Although, I didn't mention it before, he considers branch lines vulgar. Oh, speaking of Gordon, here he is. Oh, hello Thomas. This is Sir William McAlpine. He really loves steam engines. He even has some of his own. Oh, that's nice. What's wrong? Fine Scotsman's owner no longer owns him, so he's not coming back after all. What? What does that mean? There is a chance he could be scrapped. I'll be fine. Despite how my only surviving brother will never see me again. So what's the story with Gordon's brother? He went on tour to the USA some years ago, and now that he's owner no longer in progression of him, he can't come back. I see. I think I might be able to help with that. I just need to make a quick phone call. <laughs> turned my wheels in ages stranded in the USA hello there flying Scotsman um hello how do you know my name who wouldn't know your name you're the most famous steam engine on earth I'm Sir William McAlpine nice to meet you Mr. McAlpine what brings you here I'm here to rescue you. I'm going to bring you back to the UK. A few weeks ago, your operational manager phoned me about what was needed to get you home. What we need is money. Oh, I see. And I have it. You do? Exactly. The yard has just made some arrangements. I signed the money check. So now I own you. Brilliant! I'm ready and waiting! You don't have to wait, because I'm getting you out of here right now! Home, here I come! Shh! This has to be a secret! As some creditors, including the San Francisco Port Authority, haven't yet been paid! Oh, right. Sorry. Well, there she is, the California Star. 
the ship to take you home. I'm so grateful. I'm finally going home. And just one thing. Yes? Once we get home and I'm restored, can we make a brief visit to the island of Sodor? That can be arranged, Scotsman. I know about your brother. Thank you, Mr. McAlpine. Just what we need. Snow. It's fine. So long as the loading goes well. I'm home! Right then, let's go to Derby! About that. British Railways have instructed that you be taken there by a low loader. I'm fine with that. However, I said that if you're fit to run, you can go there under your own steam. I checked you over before we left, and so you'll be going under your own steam. Then what are we waiting for? Darby, here we come! Look at you! Back to your old self. Now I've been thinking, maybe you don't need your second tender anymore. Well I have heard there are enough railway preservation depots with plenty of coal and water, so fair enough. So what do you think should be done with your second tender? Uh, Give it to Bitten. Right then, shall we head off to Sodor? We better had. Hi Gordon, I see you're still upset about Flying Scotsman. Honestly Thomas, it's fine. I bet he'll soon be with all my other forgotten brothers, like Prince Palatine, Captain Cuttle, Gainsborough. What seems to be the problem? My brother hasn't returned from his USA tour, and he never will. Well, a new owner could have picked him up, and turned him into a tourist attraction. Unless that new owner wants to return him to the UK. How could you be so sure? Because I'm right here. Hello again, Gordon. Flying Scotsman. You're back! Scotsman's returned! How, how did you get back? It's a long story. But thanks to Mr. McAlpine, I made it home. I knew he'd come back. That's not what you were saying yesterday. Well, that was yesterday. This is today, isn't it? It's great to see them together again. You're right. You're not crying, are you, James? Crying? Me? Of course not. Just got some ashes in me eye. I think this calls for a celebration. What do you think, Gordon? I couldn't agree more. Flying Scotsman's finally returned to his home in the UK. 
with the help of a new order, he escaped from the USA. Everyone is extremely relieved, the world famous engine has now been retrieved. Flying Scotsman's back from what he achieved. <laughs>